My name is Julie Simpson. I live in Olympia, Washington with my two young adult children. And I am a hand weaver. I create contemporary, one-of-a-kind, luxurious, wearable art pieces. And I also am a mixed media abstract painter. I've always been a creative child. Um, art has always kind of been a part of my life since I was a little girl. Um, ended up going to art school and have just been creating ever since I can remember. I attended Rhode Island School of Design and graduated in 1991. It was an intense four-year program. My major was in textile design where I actually feel like I learned a trade that has been around for centuries of actually weaving. One of my favorite things about being an artist is creating and kind of sharing my stories through my work. There's usually something that I am bringing from my heart out into my work and that is just the joy of being artistic, but also sharing my work with the world. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in December of 2011. I underwent two lumpectomies, chemotherapy where my hair fell out and ended up having to go through 37 rounds of radiation. When I was going through my cancer journey, I turned towards my art and ended up finding myself doing a lot of painting, which became kind of a form of art therapy for me. It was really great to be able to just kind of channel that through my work. I see my oncologist once a year now. I've made it through the five-year mark. I'm off all of the medication that I was on. So I am doing what most women do, get their annual mammogram now, but on top of that, I have to go check in with my oncologist once a year and just get a well check. So far, so good. Life is inspiring and you learn from your life day to day. So my kids influence my work. I glean inspiration from just life experiences as well. That tends to come out of my work as well. My paintings reflect my life and I'm just telling stories through my work. When I approach a painting, there's many times that I really have no idea what's gonna come out of the work. Sometimes the brush dictates the piece. I'm a fan of abstract work. I like a lot of movement and organic shapes, but there tends to be structure and grids to it, which is where the repeat, kind of if I'm gonna do a repeated pattern, it'll come out in that way, but there's kind of an organic feel to it. Lots of color, lots of texture. One of my favorite aspects of painting is that it's very free. There's a lot of freedom to painting. I tend to paint stories of my life and most of the times they're abstract, very colorful. When I begin a new painting, I just start by putting sketches and gestural lines down. I use paper collage, heavy layered acrylic paint and probably 10 years ago, started fiber infusing my canvases, hand stitching nylon thread in my canvas and creating fine detail and a texture there that's kind of a surprise. It's really been fun to fiber infuse my 2D work. I'm an avid swimmer, so part of my inspiration comes while I'm swimming. So I think about my work while I'm doing that. A lot of my inspiration comes from nature and being outside. Over the years, I have realized that my textiles influence my mixed media paintings and my mixed media paintings influence my textiles. That can be from color choice to texture and kind of patterns that are used, but definitely influence each other. I hand weave and design and draft. Everything is made by me on my loom. There's no two pieces that are alike. I like to use natural fibers and each piece is one of a kind and wearable work. I weave scarves and shawls, kind of big ponchos. This is one of my favorite pieces I've made. I can't find this yarn again. There's a lot of texture to it. When I begin the weaving process, the first thing I have to do is wind a warp. So I'm looking at my cone yarn at that point and choosing colors for the base of the piece. Winding a warp takes hours. The next process is putting it on the loom, winding it on the back bean, putting it through the heddles, threading it, and then the weaving process begins. Weaving is very, very time consuming. There's a lot of repetition, a lot of attention to fine detail.
detail and not a lot of room for error, but I've been weaving for 30 years. My favorite step in the weaving process is kind of determining the warp and also an idea of what I'm gonna be making, whether it's shawls or scarves, colors. I pay attention to trending color palettes and it's wearable art. I have lived in Olympia since 2005. When I moved to Olympia, I became the artist in residence at uh, Garfield Elementary for about five years, did after school programs for all the students and worked in all the classrooms. I also participated in Arts Walk for multiple years and was actually the Arts Walk cover artist in 2010. Having my career choice in art is challenging. Um, I travel out of the state to show my work in both textile design and paintings at art festivals and art shows um, and actually have trunk shows as well. As an artist, it's important for a community to support the local arts. Olympia has a few platforms for that each year. Anytime people give feedback to artists, we love it. People coming into our studios and checking in on what we're doing and having conversations with us about why we make our work or what we're doing is really, really encouraging for us as, as makers and creators. And when people support us, it's really great because they're, they're kind of supporting our, our work, which is adding value to what we're doing. I feel that art is important in everybody's lives. I also feel that everybody has a form of artistic quality to them, they just have to figure out what it is. There's art everywhere, you just have to see it before you can start making.